Hi guys, Roland here and welcome to my channel again. We got something in our mailbox today, so let's go and check it. If you're looking for a budget dash cam, a good camera and tons of features, you might try to check the CE70 Tow Guard Rear View Mirror Dash Cam. It has a front camera resolution of 2.5K and a back camera resolution of 1080p. You can tilt the front camera at your desired angle. You can run the dash cam at the maximum memory capacity at 128GB. The memory card slot is on the top of the unit. These wires for the GPS interface, the rear view camera, and a 12 volt power cigarette socket. First time you turn on the unit, you need to format the SD card. And here's some more features of this unit. The first icon is for the resolution. You can go 2.5K at the front and 1080p at the back, or you can go 1080p both cameras. The next icon is the loop record. It is the length and duration of the recorded video. Next one is record audio. You can turn on and off to record a sound. Next one is the G sensor. If you turn it on, it can detect shock or an impact. Next is the parking guard, same as the G sensor, but it will turn on only on a parking mode. Next is a license plate icon. You can encode your license plate number. Next one is the screen saver. It's a duration of your screen to turn on and off. Next is video encode. You can go for 264 or 265. Next icon is for the frequency. You can set up a local power frequency at 50 and 60 Hz. Next is for key tone. You can turn on and off the sound of the unit. Next icon is for the speaker. You can turn on and off the speaker of the unit. Next is the boot sound. You can turn on and off the system boot notification. Next is the stream media. You can turn on and off the streaming media mode. 
Next is the language. In this icon, you can choose whatever language that you desire to use into the system. Next is date time. In here, you can adjust and set up local date time. Next is to format the SD card and a unit default. Next one is the voice command. You can turn on and off the voice command function. Next is the version. In here, you can check the software version of the unit. Next is GPS. In this icon, you can see the GPS status and the coordinates of your area. Next is time zone. You can set up the time zone according to your local area. Next is speed calibration. You can calibrate the speed indicator of the unit. Next is the speed setting. In here, you can choose your maximum desired speed. And lastly, speed unit. Let's go back to the main menu and here's some more features. When you swipe from the right, you can change the view of the camera. And you will go straight to playback mode when you swipe to the left. In here, you can play back all the recorded video. And you can delete the file as well. This red blinking icon means it's recording. You can press this icon to stop or record a video. Turn off screen. Okay. Turn on screen. Okay. Show front camera. Okay. Show rear camera. Okay. Show both camera. Okay. Turn off audio. Okay. Turn on audio. Okay. Lock video. I will demonstrate the G-Sensor and how it works. By imitating a collision or an impact, the unit will lock and record a video. The unit has a built-in battery. When you turn off the engine, the parking guard mode will automatically turn on. When it turns on, it starts lock and recording a video.
press and hold the left side of the screen, you can tilt and adjust the camera angle. And when you press and hold the right side of the screen, you can adjust the brightness. Show rear camera. You can do this feature both front and back camera. These are the footage that shot straight from the unit. With the GPS logger, the unit can record a real-time GPS coordinate in the video file. Everything is recorded in this file, from your footage, GPS, your speed, and your G-sensor. If you find this video useful, please hit like and subscribe and catch you next time.